Hi there, I'm Michelle Duvall. So at the end of 2019, right before the pandemic like really hit, I found out that I had breast cancer. And I went in for a routine mammogram and I was so lucky. They found it really early when it was really small and before it had spread. But as many of you know, anytime you get any kind of a diagnosis that has life-threatening capabilities to it, whew, you go through the whole realm of really challenging emotions, right? Worry and fear and anger and like, why me? Why is this happening? And such a deep uncertainty as far as, am I going to be able to see my kids grow up? What's, what, what, what's going to happen? Am I not going to be able to survive through this? And one of the things that helped me more than anything else was the trees, the trees. I am a part of nature. You are a part of nature. We're all a part of nature. And just as a tree can have periods of its life during which it's healthy and strong and vital and growing, so too a tree can very easily develop a cancer. So it's something that I realize that I share with the trees, that I share with all of nature. We all have times in our lives when we experience health and strength and growth and a certain degree of vitality and then cancers can appear within the realm of nature. And if it can happen to a tree, it certainly can happen to me. And to remember this and to contemplate this and kind of hold my mind on this space of connection, something that I had in common with the trees, it helped me. It helped me deeply. It was like it shared the burden I shared this experience of having a cancer in my body. I shared it with the trees. I shared it with all of nature. And somehow it made the burden feel less solely resting just on my shoulders and something that I could spread and share with all of nature. And there was space for it. And there was strength for it within the strength of nature. So what I recommend for every single one of us, whether you're going through a diagnosis or a recovery or a healing, or if you're in periods of your life where you're strong and healthy, is to get out in nature. Do some meditations on remembering and stoking this connection to us being a part of nature. We are indivisible from nature. All of our climate issues, all of our environmental issues stem from this active, almost willful forgetting that we are intrinsically and inherently codependent on nature for our very existence. We forget and so we treat nature in a certain way. We remember and we begin to treat nature in a totally different way big old bee or something came in there. Nature. <laughs> so to remember and to recollect and to allow yourself to feel again that sense of belonging spreads the burden, spreads the responsibility, opens up the isolation that we tend to feel when we've got a diagnosis. Mindfulness, another way of understanding mindfulness is the art or the act of remembering. Forgetting is mindlessness. Remembering is mindfulness. And one of the things that we actively practice remembering is that we are not separate from all of this. We belong. We're a part of it. We're a part of nature. And just like the trees have the strength to survive and persevere the storms and the windy weather, so do I, so do you, so do we all. Okay, I hope so much this was a benefit to you. I'll see you next time.